Hey guys, it's Brandy, and today I'm going to give you a super quick review of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, then just keep watching. Okay, I've stated this probably in every single video that I have up so far that I have extremely dry skin, dry skin, yeah, right, extremely oily skin, large pores, fine lines, not so fine lines, wrinkles, you name it, I've got it. So up until this point, I have been looking for my, is there, but it says Holy Grail Foundation. I think I found it and it's only $25. I believe that's what this is. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. Uh, it's just the roll up stick foundation. This is in the shade Natural. Um, this is a really good match, skin tone match. Um, yeah, it's so good you can't even see it, but it's right there. Um, they have a wide variety of shades to choose from. It is a very thick consistency. Uh, I believe it says that it's medium to full coverage, um, and it is. But you got to put quite a bit on, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. The first couple of times I used it, I did not use a primer underneath it. I just had a real light moisturizer and it's kind of hard to blend out. Um, I did switch to a heavier moisturizer and made it a lot more easy to blend out. And then I just switched and started using a primer underneath it and that made a world of difference. It blends on, blends in, goes on a whole lot smoother if you use a primer. So even to, you girls that have oily skin or guys that have oily skin and you're wanting to use this just use a primer i recommend using a primer is the it cosmetics bye bye pores primer this is probably my all-time favorite primer anyways back to this i just put my primer on and then just start making stripes on my face forehead nose lip chin everything and then when I first started using it, I was doing it with a beauty blender and that blends it out pretty good. But then I picked this up from TJ Maxx and it just says eye beauty. And it's just one of those, whatever you call them, brushes. And it is dirty because I've used it. But then you just kind of smooth it down and that's it. And your skin is good. And then apply your concealer like you normally would. I had been setting it with powder until today. I did not set it with any kind of powder today and it is a little bit oily right here. Right now it is 702. I put this on probably 10, I guess. I've not touched it up. I've not done anything to it, nothing. And usually I look like oil slick by now or by noon if I put it on at 10. This is the best stuff. I, I don't know what it is about it. I'm looking in the mirror, but I don't know if you can see it. It hasn't broke up anywhere around my nose. The only place it did kind of mess up is right here where I have my sunglasses on. And it did, but you can just fix that. That's at least my problems if it messes up where my sunglasses are on. You know, whatever. That's fine. But... I will say as of right now, this is probably my holy grail foundation. I mean, I will repurchase and repurchase and repurchase this. Just, this is the best stuff ever. Better than my uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear, better than the Clinique, better than the Marc Jacobs better than my uh, Make It Forever HD stick that I was using before this. This puts everything else to shame for me with oily skin. So if you have oily skin, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you at least give this a try if you're looking for like the all time perfect foundation. Uh, yeah, give me, give me a try. Give it a try and let me know down below your thoughts and opinions of it. Um, I have heard some not so good reviews for dry skin, which I could see that because it's pretty thick. 
uh, that it like clings to dry patches and flaky and you know all that kind of stuff. I've never had that problem. My skin's so oily, but yes, this is a must have if you have oily skin, in my opinion. So I take that for whatever it's worth, which probably isn't worth a whole lot, but it's my opinion. So if it's free and you can have it. That is all I have for now, so thanks for watching and thumbs up this video and make sure that you click the subscribe button, that way you get notified of future videos that come up and I will see you in the next go around. Bye. Say on YouTube says, oh, it gives you the most wonderful glow and blah, blah, blah. I have oily skin, I know better than to do that, but I searched until I found somebody on YouTube that said, oh, I have oily skin and it's so works for me.